kind of dumb though because I thought that you didn't have to charge it into the wall. I don't know why, I thought that probably because like wireless, but th you need energy to make it work, but here we are, dum dum. <laughs> your girl Jay and today I am here with a what I got for Christmas 2019 video. I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys would want to see this even though it wasn't anything to do with books like at all. I don't think I got one bookish thing and y'all said yes so without further ado let us get started. I'm gonna do the typical disclaimer thing where you say I'm not trying to brag about what I got. I'm very thankful for everything I received which is true. So now that that's out of the way we're gonna talk about what I received. I'll do presents from friends first and then I'll talk about what my parents got me in my stocking and all that jazz. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my little fuzzy friend. The dude bro got me this little German Shepherd because the first thing I ever said to him was okay but does he have a dog and he doesn't so he got me my own little dog. I named her Millie because he's in the military so military Millie. And now I have my own personal little fuzzy friend and I love her so much she's very very soft and she just like sits on my bed and I cuddle her a lot because she's so soft. And then he also got me <laughs> this giant burrito blanket. You've probably seen these on like Amazon and Facebook and stuff, but it's literally just like a giant blanket shaped like a tortilla so that you can burrito yourself in. It is so warm and fuzzy and he said that he got it for me because I'm always like freezing all the time. Like I'm never not cold. So now I have something to stay warm with. And then my best friend Abby got me like a card and it just says like happy holidays love you basically and then she got me a starbucks gift card and i think it's really funny because she crossed off from and wrote love because it's very important because we love each other and then she also made homemade edible cookie dough so i have two jars of that but they're in my fridge right now and i didn't want to bring them out but it's peanut butter and sugar cookie flavor, so I'm very excited to try them. I haven't tried them yet because last night when she gave them to me, they were frozen. So I didn't want to break my teeth. And then my brother's girlfriend, Sam, got me this adorable little corgi notebook. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It has, like, corgis on the inside and then every, like, corner thing is a different corgi. And I just think it is the cutest thing I have ever seen in my entire life and I like actually squealed when I opened it because I just think that he is so cute but yeah so I'm like almost done the journal that I'm writing in right now because I keep a journal about my life and whatnot and so I have like four pages left in that one so I'm gonna move on to this one so thank you so much Sam so that's all I got from like friends so I guess now like I'll move on to like family members so my aunts and uncles on my dad's side we always do presents my mom's side we don't but my one aunt got me these like super fuzzy ugg mittens i think they're hilarious because like when you put them on they kind of look like this is like a sock puppet's hair i don't know i think it's hilarious but they're really really warm and fuzzy and they're great for canada because it's freezing cold here and it's funny because my cousin eliason saw that they got them for me and she was like, I didn't get a pair of those. And I was like, talk to your mother. I don't know what to tell you. But it was, it was funny. And then my other aunt and uncle got me a Starbucks gift card because apparently that is a theme for this time because I really like coffee and I'm a white girl so it has to be Starbucks. And then my other aunt got me a Visa $25 gift card so I can spend it like wherever I want basically. So no idea where I'm going to spend it. But it will be spent eventually. And then on to my stocking stuffers from Santa Claus. Um, I got quite a bit of things. The theme for this year apparently was Disney and dogs. So I'm not mad about it. So I got two mugs. The first one is this Dash Hunt Through the Snow mug. I think it's the cutest thing. And when you put like hot water in it, it turns the sweater into like this Christmassy kind of pattern but I love these mugs and there's a shirt or sweater that says dashing through the snow and I like fell in love with it so I'm assuming that's why my mom picked it up because it's like similar to that but you can never have too many mugs and then I also got another mug which this one I'm obsessed with I'm probably just gonna like set it up there and never use it because I love it so much but it's like the Akuna Matata scene 
when they're like walking across the log and then it says the lion king on the other side the lion king is my favorite movie if you don't know that so i guess i'll talk about the other lion king things that i got i got some cookie stamps this one is simba and then the other one says akuna matata i bake a lot if you did not know i have like baking videos on this channel but those were for teachers college so like they're not that fun but it's something i like to do so now i have cookie stamps for it and then i also got a simba pez which again i'll probably just end up putting up there i just have like an obsession with the lion king a lot of the stuff i own is the lion king because it's my favorite movie so if you did not know that about me now you do the lion king's my favorite and then i guess the two other disney things that also came in my stocking i got some stitch socks i was actually here when we bought these um because we got my brother star wars socks we get him a pair every single year and it was like a buy one get a second pair free kind of thing so my mom was like oh just go pick something so I picked stitch and then she put them in my stockings so a little bit of a cheater but it's okay I still love them but stitch is my second favorite Disney character so and then my mom also made some pillowcases they are stitch obviously she makes all of my pillowcases it's just like something she does so I have a lot of Disney pillowcases and I have a couple minion ones and then I also have like flowery ones but these are the ones she gave me this year and then every year we get like an ornament for our tree so I think they've been doing it since we were born so we have quite a few I have 24 ornaments now but this was the ornament I chose this year he's a little octopus with a little Christmas hat on and I just think it's like adorable. I don't remember this but apparently I saw it in the store and like begged my mom for this to be my ornament. I don't remember but I'm so glad that I did that because it is so freaking cute. And then every year we get like band-aids in our stocking. I don't really know how it started but it happens every year. This year I got Paw Patrols because I'm pretty sure the other option was like Disney princesses and I think that's what I got like two years ago so can't have repeats so Paw Patrol it is which is fine because puppies and then I also got this cute little corgi hat in my stocking and I think it's like the cutest thing ever he's got a little tushy I just have like an obsession with corgis or dogs in general but specifically corgis I've pretty much made like corgis part of my personality at this point so there's always got to be at least one corgi present in everything and then the final stocking stuffer thingy that I got were these two notebooks. I write in a journal like I said previously, so I, so my mom knew that I was running out so she got me two new ones. So now I have three that I need to get through which definitely is not going to happen anytime soon because it took me an entire year to do the last one. Still not done it. I started it last year on Christmas Day because that was when I got it. So literally been a year and still haven't filled it up. So unless my life gets more interesting, these will not be used for a while. Oh, and then there's also a Tim Hortons gift card in here, which is not from any of my family members. It's from one of my students, but I must have put it in the bag. So Thank you to my student who gave me this. And then every year we get one present from Santa Claus and one present from my mom and dad. So this year my Santa Claus present was a wireless charger for my phone. I want to say that it was my ex that had one and I thought it was really cool and I told my mom about it and was like amazed by it and I'm assuming that's when she went and picked it up. We were also at Target one day and I like was gonna get one of those like five dollar ones my mom was like no you shouldn't get one now like let's get you a good one so I kind of knew that this was coming but I'm very very excited about it because I just think they're like really cool and then my present that I got from my mom and dad this year was a duvet I chose a duvet cover I'll try to find a picture of it online but it's like purple geometric shapes because like hello purple is my favorite color but my bedroom's like right above the garage so it's always like freezing and I have like eight blankets on my bed to go to sleep because I'm always so cold so now I have a duvet that will hopefully keep me very warm and I won't be cold anymore and it's going to be amazing and I'm so excited but it's not coming until January 16th so I'm not allowed to use the duvet until January 16th and I'm upset about it and then my brother got me the best thing ever I'm so excited about this it is Coup the card game I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Coup but it's like 
the coolest game ever. I'm obsessed with it. It's basically like a card game that's like five to ten minutes long each round but there's like five roles that you can be. Each role has a different thing that they're able to do and, but the trick is that you can lie and say that you're something that you're not and nobody knows unless they challenge you on it which if they lose then they are killed off or if you're lying and that you can't prove that you're that role then you die and the whole point of the game is to be the last one standing basically but it is like the funnest game ever. I probably explained it really badly but definitely check it out if you've never played before because it is like the best party game ever. Like you get so competitive and into it like love it. Alright everybody so those were the presents that I received for Christmas 2019. Thank you so much to everybody who gave me a present. Obviously I'm very thankful for everything that I received. Like I am very fortunate and very lucky to receive as many presents as I do every year. Let me know down below what you guys got for Christmas or what you guys did for fun on Christmas and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!